So yung lesson natin anak in this session is all about arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. So simulan muna natin about sa arithmetic sequence. Examples of sequence. Alimbawa, no? uh, we have this given example. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So example yan lang sequence. Sapagkat yung mga numero natin na uh, magkakasunod ay mayroong sequence ang dating na by 2. Multiple of 2 yung bilang natin. Why? Ang common difference nila at any interval is always 2. Halimbawa, 16 minus 14, 2 yan. 14 minus 12, ang difference is also 2. 12 minus 10, difference is 2. 10 minus 8, difference is 2. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, meron tayong common difference na 2. At ang given example na yan ay isang halimbawa ng sequence. Pero anong klaseng sequence? Mamayang konti, i-reveal -re natin. Kung anong klaseng sequence ang merong common difference. Now, let us have another example. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, etc. So, ibig sabihin ng talong dat, may kasunod pa yan ng mga numero. So, kung papansinin natin yung ating sequence, ano yung common difference natin na lak na napansin mo? For every ano interval. po? Uh, may three po for every interval. Yes. So, our common difference in this given sequence is equal to three. So, ginagamit natin ang variable na letter D for common difference. Another example, we have the multiple of five. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. Mga counting numbers tayo, no? Anong common difference natin na lahat? 5 po, sir. Okay, so we have common difference of 5. And then, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Also, we have a common difference of 2. Lahat ng sequence natin, lahat, Pare-parehong may common difference. At kapag ganyan ang sequence, tinatawag natin yung arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence. Malinaw ba, anak, ang first slide natin? Yes, sir. So, let's proceed. In arithmetic progression or AP, also called an arithmetic sequence, is a sequence of numbers which differ from each other by a common difference. That is why lahat ng mga alimbawa natin kanina, lahat ng example natin na ibinigay, may common difference. Example of arithmetic progression again. We have this. 4, 10, 16, 22, 28, Sir? 34, 40, and 46. Yes, anak? Sir? Yes, anak? Nakarecord po. Yes, nakarecord siya, anak. Okay. Nakarecord po. Medyo choppy po kasi eh. Panuulit uh, ko na lang po, mami. Okay, Kaya nagsige. Nakarecord po, naman. No problem. So, we have 4, 10, 16, 22, 28, 34, 40, and 46. If we will try to observe our given sequence, may common difference tayo na 6 sa makatuwid ang value ng D natin is equal to 6. At dahil may common difference, ang ibig sabihin nun niya ay alimbawa ng arithmetic sequence. At any interval, makikita naman natin na ang common difference is laging 6. 34 minus 28 is equal to 6. 28 minus 22 is 6. 22 minus 16 is 6. 16 minus 10 is 6. Hanggang umabot tayo ng 10 minus 4. Sa anumang magkasunod na numero, makikita natin ang difference is always 6. Therefore, we have a common difference. And then, the number of terms that we have in our given example is actually equal to 8. Bibilangin natin. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all in all, we have eight terms. At ang bawat makasunod na numero may common difference na six. Ang four ay ang tinatawag nating a sub one o ang ating first term. Second term naman ang 10. Third term naman ang 16 or a sub 3. Gagamitan naman natin ng variable na a sub 4 ang 22. Ibig sabihin is fourth term. Same thing with 28 as our fifth term. Then a sub 6 or 34. Ang seventh term natin is 40 and the eighth term is 46 or the last term. Now, we also have the formulas for arithmetic sum and here are they. Solving for arithmetic sum, pwedeng ganito ha, S sub N ang ginagamit nating symbol sa arithmetic sum. Yung N ang ibig sabihin kung ilang term yung given example natin. In this case, we have 8 terms. That is why ang S sub N natin mamaya is magiging S sub 8. And then a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub n. Kung ilang term yan, ang lahat ng terms yan lang natin so that we can obtain our arithmetic sum. And then we also have another formula for arithmetic sum. S sub n is equals to n over 2 times 2a1 plus the parenthesis of n minus 1 times d. Yan ang formula natin ng arithmetic progression or sequence. And then another formula for arithmetic sum, we have S sub n is equal to n over 2 times the sum of a sub 1 and the last term, which is actually a sub n. So yung a sub 1, ito yung first term. Ang a sub n naman ay yung last term. So kapag pinagad natin, i-multiply lang natin ang sum nila ng number of term, then divide by 2 so that we can have our arithmetic sum. And then the formula for the nth term, a sub n, of an arithmetic sequence with a common difference d and a first term, a sub 1, is given by this formula. Kung alimbawa, yung nahanap natin is pangatlo, pangapat, panglima, or kahit na pang ilang term man yan. Ito ang ating formula. A sub n is equals to A sub 1 plus the product of n minus 1 and d. Okay? So, yan ang formula ng ating n term. Wherein, ito yung ating mga legends na kailangan mong matandaan anak. n, ibig sabihin is number of terms. d is the common difference or difference of any consecutive terms. S sub n, sum of arithmetic progression at n term. And then A sub n, that is the n term. So, yan ang ating mga formulas under ng arithmetic sequence. And then A sub 1 pala, we have also our first term, A sub 1. Now, going back to the problem, we have the number of terms, n is equals to 8 term, and a common difference of 6. Yung problem natin kanina, yan pa rin ang ating gagamitin. Starting from a sub 1, which is equal to 4. And then, magtatapos ang sequence natin ng 8 term, or a sub 8, which is actually equal to 46. Now, what do we need here is that we have to calculate for the sum of progression or S sub 8. Sum ng lahat ng numero na nakikita natin from the first term hanggang 8 term. S sub 8 kasi walong term lang ang may meron tayo. And then <coughs> also A sub 8. Although nakikita naman natin kung ano yung 8 term, di ba? Ang pangwalong term is 46, pero dito pinapakalkula, pinapakalkula pa, although nakikita naman natin. Siguro ito yung point na kailangan lang nating matest yung formula kung tama ba talaga o hindi. Kailangan kapag ginanap natin ang A sub 8, makukuha natin is 46. 
So let us start solving for S sub 8 and A sub 8 or the sum of progression up to the 8th term. And kung ano nga ba ang ating 8th term. So solving for S sub 8, we have A sub 1 plus A sub 2 plus A sub 3 hanggang A sub 8. So sa madaling pananalita, i-add lang natin lahat ng mga numero na nakikita natin. So S sub 8 is equal to 4 plus 10 plus 16 plus 22 plus 28 plus 34 plus 40 plus 46. Now if we're going to add them, the result is actually 200. Okay, so yan ang ating S sub 8. Now let us calculate for A sub 8. Tingnan nga natin kung 46 nga ba talaga ang makukuha natin. Okay, alternative formula for solving for S sub 8. We have it as, since ang yan natin is equal to 8, that's why 8 over 2. A sub 1 is 4 and A sub n is 46, which is actually also A sub 8. So we have 4 plus 46 be equal to 50. But 50 divided by 2 is 25 and 25 times is 8 is 200. That is why S sub 8 is still 200. <coughs> Excuse. And then, how about trying the other formula ng S sub 8? Pinapakita ko lang na, uh, na kahit alin sa tatlong yan ang gamitin natin, mag arrive lang tayo sa parehong sagot. Direct substitution tayo gamit ang formula. N is A, that's why we have 8 over 2. Then 2A sub 1 or 2 times 4. N minus 1 or 8 minus 1. And then the value of our common difference D is equal to 6. Now, if we're going to simplify the equation, ang value ng S sub 8 natin, 200 pa rin. Walang magbabago. Okay. How about A sub 8? So, direct substitution. A sub 1 is 4. N is 8. And D is 6. If we're going to calculate for A sub 8, so we have 4 plus 8 minus 1 times is 6. Ang 8 minus 1 is 7. 7 times is 6, then is 42. Then 42 plus 4 is 46. That is why, ibig sabihin, tama yung formula na to kasi nakuha naman natin yung 46 bilang pang walong term ng ating given session, ng ating given sequence. Can you follow, anak? Klaro ba? Ang mga ini-explica ko sa'yo? Opo. Okay, well. sir. So let us proceed to another slide. Now we have a problem solving number one. So let us try to solve this problem. An arithmetic sequence has a common difference equal to 10. Ibig sabihin kung yan ang mga sequence natin, ang pagkakasunod nila, sa bawat magkasunod may common difference na 10 or 10. Nagkataon na ang pangalim na term Sir. equal to 52. Yes, anak? Sir. Yes. Ano po? Uh, post nyo po to Yes. Sa YouTube? Yes. Apa, sir. Okay. Chappy po kasi. Okay lang, anak. Okay lang. Uh, pagdating naman sa akin, okay siya. Okay. Ang pangalim na term ng ating sequence is 52. At ang last term or 15th term is actually unknown, pinapaanap. So, paano kaya natin isusolve ang problem? <coughs> okay, let us see, no? Actually, anak, pwede mong yung idiretso eh. Tingnan mo, no? Kahit na hindi pa ako magsusolve lang uh, by formula, experience mo lang. Tingnan mo to, no? Um, para lang mas klaro sa iyo. Ay, hindi naman lang ganyan kay hirap. 1, di ba 15 yan? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Eh, ang pangalim na term daw, 52. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, o so 52 yan, di ba? Yan ka, so ang common difference, 10 or 10. So, ibig sabihin, para maging common difference is 10, ang pipiliin nating number na kasunod ng 52 is, I think, 62. 
'di ba? O magbibilang ako 62 72 82 dito, 92. Tama? 102 112 122 130. Ano po, sir? Ano? Bilangin ko. Sige lang. One forty two po. Yes, one forty two. So hindi pa tayo nagformula, no? Ah, uh, mga ganyang tipo lang ng pagsusolve ng problema, no? Napakadali lang. Kung madalian yung dating, eh, sa totoo lang, kayang kaya mong isolve. Tandaan mo yung one forty two, no? Now isolve na natin gamit ang formula. Given ten ang common difference. A sub 6 is 52 and 15 term is A sub 15 which is actually, ito yung inaanap natin. Now, this is our solution. Ang unang gagawin natin, anak, is aanapin muna natin ang value ng first term. A sub 1. So, kapag naanap na natin ang value ng A sub 1, maaari na natin hanapin ang value ng A sub 15. But, in order for us to calculate for A sub 1, We will adopt the formula for the nth term or a sub n. At ito yung formula natin. Okay, we need to substitute the values of 8 is a sub 6 equals to 52, n is equal to 6, and d is equal to 10 to the formula a sub 6 equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Bakit 6? Kasi ang n natin is 6. So mag-substitution na tayo. a sub 6 is 52. a sub 1 is unknown, but n is equal to 6. Common difference is 10. And i receipt na. 52 is equal to a sub 1 plus 6 minus 1 times 10. But what is 6 minus 1? Simply equal to 5. That's why we have 52 is equal to a sub 1 plus 5 times 10. But 5 times 10 is 50. That is why we have 52 is equal to a sub 1 plus 50. If I will transpose 50 to the left-hand side of the equation, it will become minus 50. Yan. That is why ang value ng ating a sub 1 is equal to 2. Diba? Pero mas madali yung kanina kasi direct. Okay? Now, a sub 1 is equal to 2. Pwede na natin hanapin ngayon ang a sub 15. Solving for the 15th term or a sub 15 of the sequence. Substitute the values of a sub 1 which is equal to 2. Ang kaanap pa lang natin. D is equal to 10 and n is equal to 15. To the formula, a sub 15 is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times D. Direct substitution, a sub 15 is equal to 2 plus 15 minus 1 times 10. And... Ang sagot natin, anak, is equal to 142. And that is our 15th term. So tama yung diskarte natin kanina na actually, eh, mas mabilis pa. Actually, ngayon, ginamitan natin siya ng formula. Eh. Okay, anak, naiintindihan ba? Opo, sir. Claro, ha? Okay, so let's proceed. So, thus, the value of the 15th term, a sub 15 is 142. Let us have another problem. Find the sum of the first 50 even positive integers. Unang limang po daw na even positive integers. So, pwede tayong mag-counting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yung first 50, i-add natin. Okay, yung first 50 terms na by 2. Definitely, ang number of term natin is 50. Dahil 50 yung numbers. Eh. Ang first term natin is 2. At dahil by 2 yan, ang common difference natin is definitely 2. Now, we need to calculate for the sum of the sequence hanggang pang limang pung term ng mga positive even integers. Solution, solving for the arithmetic sum 
S sub 50. S sub n is equals to n over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Ito yung useful formula natin, anak. Okay? Maliban dun sa dalawang formula na aking pang inintroduce kanina. S sub 50 is equals to 50 over 2. Bakit 50 over 2? Ang n natin is 50. So, 2 times 2. Bakit 2 times 2? Ang a sub 1 natin is 2. 50 minus 1, dahil lang yan natin is 50. Then, times 2, dahil lang d natin is equal to 2. Simplifying the equation, we can actually have a result of S sub 50 equal to 2,500. 50. Okay, actually, pwede mo pang i-direct calculator yan, anak, no? No, kung may uh, scientific calculator ka na ginagamit. And then, definitely, ang mahalap nating sagot is 2,550. Malinaw ba problem number 2, Julius, anak? Laro ba problem number 2? Okay? Julius, Opo, sir. Okay. Plus pa si to problem number three. Okay, so dalawang example lang pala ang naiyanda natin under ng arithmetic progression. Now, let us have the geometric progression concept. Ang objective natin kung bakit kailangang pag-aralan ng object ang uh, geometric progression or sequence. Una, we need to determine the sum of geometric sequence kailangang matutunan natin ang pag-aanap ng sum ng mga geometric sequence na na-encounter natin. Pangalawa, solve worded problems skillfully. Kailangan paulit-ulit kang nagsasolve ng problem, anak, nang sa gayon eh, maanap mo yung skill mo at maatain mo yung speed sa pagsasolve ng mga problem. Now, this is the definition of geometric sequence or geometric progression. A geometric progression, or simply known as a geometric sequence, is a series of numbers where each term after the first is found by multiplying the previous one by a fixed non-zero number called the common ratio. So ano bang ibig sabihin niyan? Mamayang konti, mas maliliwanagan ka, anak. Halimbawa, the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32 having a common ratio of 2. Bakit 2? 32 divided by 16. Okay, ito muna, no? Look at these two numbers. Sir, so, sir, sir, sir. Yes, anak? Sir. Yes. Bali, ano po siya? 2 times 2, 2 4. 4 times 4, 8. 8 times 8, 16. 16 times... 16, no, 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 no. 32. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. So, lahat, ah, okay, multiply po. mo lang lang 2. Ngayon, ang common ratio naman, ganito siya, anak. 32 divided by 16 is 2. 16 divided by 8 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Yun ang common ratio, anak. Klaro ba? Ang quotient ng bawat makasunod na numero, ang sagot natin is always 2. Malinaw ba, anak? Laging 2 ang quotient ng dalawang makasunod na number. Kahit saan mo nga ang guluting na. Malinaw po, sir. No? Malinaw? Malinaw po. Okay. So okay, let's sir. proceed. The sequence 3, 9, 27, 81, 243 having a common ratio of 3. Kasi 243 divided by 81, 3. 81 divided by 27, 3 din yan. 27 divided by 9, 3. 9 divided by 3, 3 din ang sagot yan. Okay? The sequence of 1, 5, 25, 125, and 6, 2, 5 having a common ratio of 5 is also an example of geometric sequence. The sequence of 1, 10, 100, 1,000, etc. is also an example of geometric progression dahil mayroon silang common ratio na 10. Okay, malinaw ba ang ating slide, anak? Regarding about geometric progression? 
Okay, so let's proceed. Gets ko po. Okay, yan lang. Sir, get, good. Let's proceed po. Okay, so that's the last example that we have. 1 for 1664 and 256 having a common ratio of 4. So let us now proceed to the next slide. Geometric sequence formulas. Parang kanina lang yan. May formula tayo sa arithmetic progression. Siyempre, dito sa geometric sequence, dapat meron din tayong mga pag-aaralang mga formulas. At ito ang mga sumusunod. A geometric series with common ratio R and first term of A sub 1, ito yung formula natin sa pag ng n term. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to the power of n minus 1. Ang n minus 1 dito anak is actually an exponent. Ang function ng n minus 1 is exponent in this given formula. And the sum to n terms, kapag naman nagaanap tayo ng geometric sum, ito ang ating formula. S sub n is equals to a sub 1 times the bracket of r to the n minus 1 all over r minus 1. Kung saan, ang ibig sabihin ng mga sumusunod na variables, ang a sub 1, ito yung ating tinatawag na first term of the geometric sequence. R, we have it as the common ratio. Ang function naman ng n, number of terms in the sequence. And then a sub n will be the n term or last term of the geometric sequence. Okay? So let's proceed. I have prepared examples regarding about geometric sequence. Let us have our example number one. The first term of a geometric progression is 64. So 64 daw, 64 daw yung unang term natin, which means yan ang ating a sub 1. And the fifth term is 4. Kung fifth term yan, yan ang ating a sub 5, ang panglimang term. Now, if the sum of all the terms is 128, what is then the common ratio? ang sum daw ng lahat ng term na may meron tayo, 128. Okay, so let us see if we can solve the problem. Given, first term, a sub 1 is 64. Fifth term, a sub 5 is equal to 4. S sub n or s sub 5 is equal to 128. So pinapaanap ang R, ang common ratio. In order to do that, Okay? Kailangang anapin muna natin ang value ng ating R. Okay? Para maanap natin ang sum, kung pinapaanap man yung sum, anak, no? So, ang A sub 5 natin is 4, ang A sub 1 natin is 64. And then, ang R is unknown. And then, N natin, 5 ba? Or whatever, tingnan natin, anak, no? So, let's substitute. Yan. Ang n natin is equal to 5. Bakit? Lima lang yung term eh. Mula first term lang hanggang pang limang term. So, lima lang yung involved. So, 5 minus 1. Okay? So, 4 is equal to 64. Then, r is to 5 minus 1. So, we divide the entire equation by 64. Balikan ko lang anak, no? Ang buong equation na yan, dahil inaanap ang R, kailangan ng 64 eh may divide sa buong equation para R raised to 5 minus 1 na lang matitira sa right hand side. At ang coefficient ng R is magiging 1 na lamang. That is why 4 over 64 is equal to R to the fourth. Now, how do we solve for R? We need to extract the fourth root of both sides. Okay. Kailangan natin extract ang 4 root of both sides. Or simplify muna natin ang 4 over 64 as a fraction. Okay. So, simplify muna ang 4 over 64 as a fraction. What I mean is to reduce it to lowest term. 4 over 64 is also 1 over 16. Pares lang yan. Okay. And then afterward, we need to extract the 4 root of both sides. 
Now, if we're going to extract the fourth root of both sides, yan. Makakancel ang radical sign sa left side. Magiging R na lang ang nasa left hand side. And then, naanapin natin ang fourth root ng 1 over 16. Okay, let us see kung anong magiging sagot natin. Actually, pwede mong pindutin ang calculator mo na ng direct para masolve mo to. <coughs> Yan. R to the 4 is equals to 1 up to the 4th power. Bakit naging 1 up to the 4th power? Okay, let me show you. Yung 1 over 16, actually, yung power niya is 1. Okay, no? Now, if I need to convert this into exponential form, yung fourth root of 1 over 16 raised to 1, ganito yan. Pwede kong siyang isulat ng ganito. 1 over 16 raised to 1 fourth. Okay? Raised to 1 fourth. And then, para yatang umirap dyan. Ha? Pero ipapakita ko anak, no? One part, okay. So yung one, pwede kong isulat ng one to the four, yung numerator. Yung 16, pwede ko siyang isulat ng two to the four. And then this is one over four. So we'll apply algebra here, power of power. So yung one to the four, nakaray sa one part. Okay, simplify ko siya anak, no? One part. But 4 times is 1 4 is 4 over 4. Okay, exponent siya nalak, no? Over 2. 4 times 1 4 is 4 over 4. That's why 4 over 4 is 1, 4 over 4 is 1. Kung magigisagot na lang natin is 1 half. Eh dito, pareho silang 4th power. We can assume that the answer for R is 1 half. Pero mas kalaro sa ibinigay kong solution sa iyo sa taas anak. Ang common ratio natin in this given problem is actually 1 up. Kung baga sa problem na to parang yung 128 dito eh, naging palamuti na lamang. Hindi man lang pala natin gagamitin para maanap ang common ratio ng problem number 1. So, pandagdag lang yan. Panglito lang ang 128 dito. Okay, let's proceed to our next example. Sample number 2. Malinaw ba yung example number one, anak? Kung paano ko nakuha yung one up na sagot? Opo, sir. Ba? Okay, so let's proceed to example number two. Find the sum of the first six terms of geometric sequence in which a sub 1 is equal to 5 and r is equal to negative 2. So pinapaanap yung unang anim na term ng geometric sequence natin na kung saan ay pinangungunaan ng a sub 1 which is equal to 5. And then, ang bawat makasunod na terms or consecutive terms, meron silang common ratio na negative 2. Now, how do we solve the problem? At first, we have to write the givens first. n is equal to 6, a sub 1 or our first term is equal to 5, and then common ratio of negative 2 or r is equal to negative 2. For the solution process, solving for the geometric sum S sub N, actually S sub 6 tayo dahil per 6 term lang para sa ating S sub N. <coughs> the writing the formula for geometric sum, S sub N is equals to A sub 1 times R to the N minus 1 all over R minus 1. Okay? So, pang na term? Sum hanggang ikaanim na term. So, S sub 6 ang inaanap natin. S sub 6 then will then be equal to 5 times negative 2 raised to 6 minus 1 all over negative 2 minus 1. Bakit? Okay, ito siya, no? Ang A sub 1 natin is actually equal to 5. And that's it. Ang R natin, negative 2. Kaya negative 2 ito. And then n is equal to 6 minus 1. Ang r natin is negative 2, kaya negative 2 minus 1. Now, if we're going to simplify this given equation, ganito ang arrival ng ating calculation. 
<coughs> una, simplify ko muna yung denominator. Negative 2 and negative 1 is negative 3. Next step. Ang negative 2, kapag raise ko sa 6 power, ang makukuha natin is 64 because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 64. Multiply natin ng 6 times ang 2 by itself. And then, if the given number is negative and the exponent is an even number, definitely the result will be positive. Pero kung even number ang ating exponent, magiging negative ang result natin. Okay? Kaya lang ang number natin na negative is nakaray sa even power. That is why we will have a result of positive. That is why naging 64 minus 1 na to. Okay? 64 minus 1 is 63. Tama? So let us see. And then 5 times 63 over negative 3, our S sub 6 is negative 105. So this is our final answer. S sub 6 is negative 105. Hindi malayong makakuha tayo ng negative na sum kasi nga ang common ratio natin is negative. Okay? Thus, our geometric sum, S sub 6 equals to negative 105. At yan ang ating final answer sa ating example number 2 ng ating geometric sequence. Let us have another problem. Example number 3. Find the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence in which a sub 1 is 2, a sub n is 486, and r is equal to 3. Given a sub 1 is 2, r is equal to 3, a sub n is equal to 486. And for the solution, kung hanapin natin lang sum, okay, kailangan muna nating maganap lang terms. Okay? Term ba or N? Okay. Anapin muna natin ang value ng ating N. Okay? Para malaman naman natin kung ilang term ba may meron tayo. So, let us see. Direct substitution, A sub N is 486. A sub 1 is 2. R is 3. Then raised to N minus 1. 486 over 2 is equals to 3 raised to N minus 1. 243 is equals to 3 raised to n minus 1. Okay. 486 divided by 2, 243. Yan eh. Okay, what am I what going to do now? Anong bang gagawin ko niya kasunod? Take the logarithms of both sides. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan mo pala ng knowledge mo about logarithm dito sa sequence. So, if I'll take the logarithm of both sides, log 243 will be equal to log of 3 raised to n minus 1. And then yung n minus 1 actually, pwede kong dalhin sa unaan yan. Okay? n minus 1 log 3 is equal to log 243. And then pwede kong i-divide ang kabuhan ng equation by log 3. Okay? Or pwede ko namang i-distribute ang log 3 sa n at saka sa 1. So n log 3 minus 1 log 3. Okay? Then n log 3 will be equal to log 243 plus 1 log 3 or log 3. And then divide the entire equation by log 3. Log 243 plus 1 log 3 all over log 3 is equal to 6. Meaning ang value ng ating n is equal to 6. Dahil alam na natin kung ilang term meron tayo sa ating given geometric sequence, Maari na natin ngayon kalkulayin ang ating geometric sum by using the formula S sub 6 equals to A sub 1 times R to the N minus 1 over R minus 1. In this session, in this situation, wala nang mahirap. Direct substitution, given ang A1, given ang R, and then given na ang N. So madali na lang i-calculate ang sum of progression natin up to the 6th term. So we have 2 times 3 to the 6 minus 1 all over 3 minus 1. Finally, ang value ng ating S sub 6 is 728. And that is our geometric sum, S sub 6, for our example number 3. It is actually equal to 
728, yan ang ating tinatawag na geometric sum. So, nasolve natin ang n at saka ang sum ng problem number 3. And that's all about the sequence, arithmetic sequence, and geometric progression. Thank you very much, anak. To always remember that God is great and God is good.